All right, hey you guys, what is going on? GI Geo Gamer here, and today, whoa, 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 we are back with a brand new video, and today we are going to be playing some StarCraft 2, um, commenting, commenting, casting, overviewing one of my gameplays. I was playing with a friend of mine, we were actually in a Discord uh, call the whole time, but I figured I'd record it anyway just because I really want to prove a point with this video. Um, I know I made a video recently that said uh, make drones, drones OP, and um, that is really, really important and I've just been trying to force into myself make drones, make drones, make drones, make drones. And so uh, this video is kind of a good example of that. So. We both do a pretty much standard start up. Um, I do a hatch gas pool. Uh, he does his supply depot, gas, gas, barracks, whatever it is. I don't remember. I don't play turn. I don't want to play turn. But, um, you know, standard start. Nothing really exciting happening. Um, this was yesterday, I believe. We played a lot of games together. We did some 2v2, a lot of 1v1. Uh, just, you know, hung out. Um,. Alright, so my spawning pool should be going up. Yep. Alright, so I've recently, I always put my spawning pool, like, just anywhere. I've recently been trying to place it, like, to block my mineral line. So that a reaper or zerglings or, you know, an adept can't get through there. Or through there. Um, I don't know, I've just been seeing a lot of, you know, uh, people who do that. So, I figured I'd start doing that as well. Just to save me that little bit of a hassle. Uh, but you know this game I put it up there But you know we chillin he's making his reaper. I hate reapers. I honestly hate reapers. <laughs> I think they're super annoying um, And so I always I Don't know like they don't stress me out But I I think I over micro when I fight them and my micro is bad So it doesn't even matter because I still lose zerglings, but I don't know. I really really hate reapers uh, Now I believe I skip uh, Zergling speed? Link speed? No? Okay. Okay, I do get link speed, alright. Which will help us against the Reaper. I have both my queens coming out. Now if we look, um, at the minimap, I think I already missed it. I saw his Reaper headed across. So I knew it was on the way. I made four links to deal with it. Again, the queen is almost out. So race against the clock. And the Reaper should be showing up right about now. Yep, there he is. So, let's watch my micro, okay? Let's just watch this. Alright, chasing him down. Ran one link back. Lost the link. My queen. Alright, I did actually lose an Overlord here as well, which is kind of stupid. Because I was so focused on that stupid Reaper. I, I don't know. That was a really bad play right there. I'm not even going to deny it. But, he made a big mistake at this point. He left his Reaper near my base. The Zergling speed's about to finish up. Look at that, seven drones on the way. Yeah, dude. Uh, he did snipe my Overlord, which is really annoying. Um, but anyway, Zergling speed is about to be done. I realize that. And I expect his Reaper to still be around. So, um, in just a minute, I believe... I send my reaper out, or not my reaper, my zerglings out to get his reaper. Yeah, oh wait. Oh, he sends his reaper back in. And then I just chase him back down. The queen does good damage. We have zergling speed. I remember we were in the column. He's like, no, fastlings. <laughs> and I killed his reaper, which was pretty bad for him. Keeping your reaper alive as a Terran um, gives you, I don't know, just it lets you scout your opponent a lot more even throughout the rest of the game. Um, so losing the reaper kind of sucked for him. Uh, but here's where things are really important. Notice his drone count, 22. 22 drones, I have 35, I'm still making drones. Let's just let's just keep those numbers in mind, okay? 22 SCVs. Uh, we start up our Roach Horn and our double Evo. Uh, I also start my um, third hatchery. Uh, I actually forgot my lair this game. It took me a long time to finally make it. Um, because I always make early lairs. I like rushing Hydra, I feel like it counters everything. It's just my opinion, uh, you know, at this point in the game. So, the Evo Chambers are up. I made a lot of lings right here. I think it's just because I was floating a lot of minerals. I thought, you know, maybe I'll keep them around. That was really stupid. I should have just made drones and maybe even gone for a fourth already. 
uh, or at least made overlords. I don't know. I made a bunch of links. It was kind of stupid. But I start my roach production. Plus one, plus one range um, is on its way now. Uh, I make my creep queens. And uh, I believe... No, I still haven't started my lair because I'm creating queens. So at this point, um, I... When do I realize? I took it like I didn't even realize. When do I take it? All right, we have our creep, our creep queen and our third base queen. All right, when do I realize? All right, so I'm just making a lot of roaches right now, uh, which is you know good. We need to get our army composition up. Come on, realize, realize, realize. All right, right here. Look, I go to grab roach speed, and I'm like, oh stink! I never got my lair. So uh, I start up my lair pretty much immediately after. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, right here. Yes, he pushes across the map with his. Uh, he's got a single tank and um, a bunch of marines. But look, twenty-three workers, right? So I move out. I move down, snipe the tank. That was a really bad engagement for him. I lost a lot of roaches, but the thing with marines is they're only good if you have a lot of them. And like, as soon as you start sniping down the marines. He has no hope. I am pumping out five roaches at this point. He brings his medibacks too late. He saves one marine. Now look, 23 SCVs, okay? That number does not go up this entire game. He knows that's his flaw. You know, he's been trying to work on it. That number did not go up at all this entire game. Whereas I am at 46 drones and I still am creating more, as you can see. Uh, oh wait, he does make two more SCVs. Or is that counting... Yeah, that's... Alright, no, he did go up to 25. Okay. My bad, my bad. He did go up to 25. Um, he must have lost some when I killed him later on, but... Still, 54 drones at this point. Now, I float a lot of stuff here, but I grab a bunch of upgrades, spend it all. It's, it was kind of a waste of resources, having them just sitting there. It's alright, though. Uh, as you can see, I start up plus, uh, plus 2, plus 2. Uh, roach speed. Uh, throw down my Hydra Den. Get some Overseers. And I'm just constantly making roaches... Uh, because I know, like, since I, you know, he's a friend of mine, I know his economy is pretty bad, so I know I'm safe to just keep making troops if I already have three bases running. But still, here, 12 drones on the way. I saturate that third, saturate the gases, get things running pretty smoothly. Start Hydra production, and in just a minute I get the Hydra upgrade, which, what is that? Uh, muscular augments, okay, yep. So I do do that, I do do uh, that, and now it's pretty much just a race against the clock. Look at supply, it's not even a race, 61 to 120, that's pretty insane. Uh, he starts up concussive shells, what is that? Ooh, okay, the marauders slow everybody down. He should have got combat shield, I believe. He did get it after, but still, I don't know. If Let's just look at economy, 32 to 62. He has 15 marines and 2 tanks, 4 medibacks. I have 21 roaches, four, yeah, no, and I'm just constantly, 10 more hydras on the way, 10 hydras, like, you really can't do anything about that, I start moving out across the map, I have my over or overseers with me, um, I have two hydras, snipe any medibacks that I see, I send an overseer in, see what's up, scout his army, do I see any tanks, oh, he stems across, which was a mistake. He should not have stemmed that. I did see that uh, tank shot, backed out a little bit. I knew I had a lot of reinforcements coming across the map. If we go ahead and look, Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. That's a fish. Um, you know, I just, I'm constantly moving out across the map. I back up again. Um, I didn't want to rush into this because I know tanks do a lot of damage against roaches, and um, I didn't really want to have to deal with that. But, um,. I just kept making a lot of hydras to back up all these roaches. As you can see, if we look at army value, I have double his army. Pretty much. Well, like two thirds more. That's more. One third more. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and move out across the map. Uh, his tanks, I just move right in, take out his tank. I have plus two, plus two. I don't think he did any upgrades. I think this game he forgot him. Um, I start sniping the medivacs. Um, I snipe tanks and medivacs. I really enjoy doing that. If you have no medivacs, you have no healing, you have no way to escape. 
I did back out though, I took a lot of damage, uh, but I, I weakened him a ton. If we go ahead and look at the army value, I still, you know, I still have the same amount of army value compared to him, you know, the one third more. Uh, now right here, things were interesting. Um, if we go ahead and watch this, alright, these trees right here block vision. I can't spread creep through them, they block vision. I can't see his army, except for I have overseers right here. I was able to snipe his army, whereas he couldn't see me. I could see him and could snipe him through the trees. He lost a lot of his army there, and I, I remember he like kind of uh, he swore at me because he was like, "Bro, your stupid overseers can see over the trees." And I honestly at the time didn't even realize that, but it is true. So I was able to snipe down a lot of his units right there. And uh, we have a ton of hydras right now, so I started making roaches to tank uh, because obviously you know roaches are helpful. Now, I would not recommend making Hydras against most Terrans, um, unless you know you're that far ahead, because Hydras can be very weak against Terran. Um, I don't know, I just, that's when I made this game, I knew, I don't know, I can pretty much, like, he's getting better, but I am definitely a higher skill level than him at this point. Now, right here was fun. Obviously, my Overlord saw him throw down his third attempt to throw down his third. I move my army out across the map. I see his army starts backing up. So I just kind of sneak right up in here, hold up, wait for all of my army to get up, and then just push out. One shot at that. All right, now here, snipe all of his medivacs, which means he can't pack up and escape. Snipe his third base, and we actually take an engagement here. He, uh, snipe all of his tanks. That one wasn't even siege. Get that liberator, because that can one-shot my hydras. And, I mean, look at the supply, 169 to 52. I have constant support. He's trying to make a tank and a couple marines. Really, there's nothing he can do about it. But if we look, 31 SCVs to 69. I have double his SCVs and some. Like, you just can't go against that. Um, 42, he, he has one tank and 30, 29 SCVs, 27, 26. He has one tank right now. That's all he had to defend. And so I just sniped all of his natural... And I didn't even wait for my overseers. I pushed up the ramp, sniped down that tank, took out his army, and uh, he called GG. There we go. And um, yeah, so really important. I, I can't stress it enough. You have to make your workers, SUVs, drones, probes, whatever that may be, you have to make them. Because if you don't, you do not have the supply, the resources to back up your troops. So, again, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below. I um, hope you did enjoy today's Age of Empires video. Uh, if you play this game and you haven't seen Age of Empires, uh, you've probably been living under a rock, but go check it out anyway. And uh, guys, if you did enjoy, I'll definitely see you in the next one. Good. Bye.